Hello, my name is Kanika Anav and I secured All India Rank 2 in the CSIR NET exam uh, held in the Life Sciences stream in June 2019. Uh, uh, I graduated in Zoology from Miranda House, uh, Delhi University uh, in 2018 after which I pursued my post-graduation uh, from JNU in Biotechnology and I will be post-graduating this year and I am originally from Ranchi, Jharkhand. There are a few tips which might be useful for candidates who are preparing for the NET exam. Uh, firstly, I would say um, download the syllabus of your respective stream uh, from internet or like you can also find the prep uh, syllabus in some uh, preparation books that we get. So go through the syllabus, syllabus very thoroughly. Uh, find the topics. Uh, the, within topics, there are even subtopics. So just go through them and then, uh, you know, Maybe uh, read on internet uh, or uh, see a video regarding which books you can refer to for which uh, topic, which uh, book explains certain topics better. So that way you'll have like a proper book list and you'll know where to study what from. So your study material will be finalized. So that's the first step I would say. Now once you start preparing, uh, try to prepare like notes uh, uh, th th this is what I did for myself. I did uh, prepare some notes for myself for different topics. So what happened is that uh, because we generally have very fat books for uh, life sciences and I'm sure that is true for other streams as well. So the good books, they are really thick, uh, vast books and uh, those, are not the, those are not the kind of books you would want to delve into like say 10 days before the exam, right? So it is always better to have some uh, precise uh, handwritten notes where you know you can directly come to the point or if you think there's too much to uh, write you can just always make a reference that uh, see this diagram from that book so this is what i did for myself and uh, i think it it proved pretty useful uh, so notes i would say uh, are important Thirdly, I would say managing the time in the exam, I think it goes through for any exam, that is very important. So firstly, uh, familiarize yourself with the pattern of the exam. Uh, like, uh, so once you know that, okay, these are the, the, the exam has, say, three sections, there are these many questions in each section. A particular section might be more conceptual, while the other one might be more factual. So you know where to devote more time to and uh, which which requires more logical thinking which one will take more time and then uh, you can uh, there are there are a lot of books in the market which have previous year question papers you can also get them from the internet i guess so uh, get yourself one such books or just download the question papers and for the like uh, past uh, eight or ten question papers i think they will give you a fairly rough a fairly good idea of uh, how much time each section should be devoted and uh, whether you are being able to complete the paper on time or not if not which sections are the one uh, ones uh, where you need to speed up a little bit more so i think uh, time management that way is very important it also once your time is well managed and uh, uh, you stick to the time limits that you have uh, allotted for different sections it also keeps you relaxed during the exam you do not panic you know that okay uh, this is all managed this is all taken care of so uh, and that helps you perform better very obviously and uh, one tip that i did follow for myself was that i uh, remained calm uh, before the exam uh, like one day before the exam i did not study anything i just had uh, written down a few topics like 10, 10 10 12 topics i had written down and they were like a little bit memory based so i realized i had to go through them uh, one day before the exam in order to keep them in mind so i just went through them in like two to three hours but otherwise i was mostly relaxed i did not study uh, one day before the exam and even in the morning of the exam i did not study i was um, i was just talking to my friends or two of my friends we had the same center so we were just talking and joking around so basically uh, the mind was relaxed uh, not in a stressful situation it was so i think that uh, also helps you perform better in the exam because uh, that way you don't panic you have you 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 know that okay you are giving your best in this exam all your uh, mental strength is with you and i think that so that actually brings the satisfaction after the exam is over and i think that satisfaction is very important so yeah prepare well and good luck